that time they've been many who played the game to the end. They played it tough, but they played it fair and walked off the field as friends. That's what the big game's all about. Giving it the best you can. Playing like a mortal. Hey guys, Luke here, and we're back. Episode 21, I think. So, round 23, that is. I don't know why I keep saying, like, the episode number when I don't do it in episodes, but... Whatever. Um, won't worry about that. So, we're taking on the Storm. So, this should be a good game. Not sure where Storm are located on the ladder on this, but... Whatever. So, I'd like to say thank you for the ideas to talk about. From JakeyBear2000, who um, follows me on Twitter. So, um, while I'm at it... Uh, it looks like he's a Tiger supporter, so um, appreciate you leaving um, like a, a reply on Twitter because I don't get them too often. So uh, if you have a Twitter and, and you use it and stuff, um, and you want to ask me questions all that, um, feel free to ask me any questions or if you want to have a chat or anything, I'll happily do it on Twitter. Um, sometimes I find that some of the comments and stuff, um, it's good and everything, but like ones that end up being like two like oh sorry like end up being like five six replies and some of them end up being about like some like irrelevant sort of things i feel like they're better suited for twitter so, so if, i know um i've got my twitter handle in the description but i mean how often people really look at the description too often and especially like you'd have to um do the one where you hit like oh sh show show more detail or whatever it is like f see more or stuff like that so it's not even like the initial um, but the initial look at it won't even show it because it's right at the bottom so oh what oh my god we thought we were through that would have been such a good try jeez so close um by um bop split them apart here we made so many breaks already in this game we've had like four tackles with the ball overall or maybe we're just in really good form yeah I, I just said how much you should, like how much I appreciate the topic and I didn't even set the question was so we said I should talk about um ideas for rugby league live 3 so I've um covered this a little bit in my previous warriors rugby league um live to like crew mode videos so it's going to be tough um didn't particularly want to talk about this initially but now that like it's been brought up i think I, should, I feel like talking about it again and there were things that i missed for sure um i don't know if i'll do all of them in one video or if i do them over a number of videos but um actually while you're at it go in and have a look at my warriors crew mode stuff i think it was pretty good um had a successful season with the warriors um and they're a really fun team to play with so yeah, it's like it, it's like feels like um playing with this bulldog side if Barber was still in it because like Kevin Locke was so good in that there was no Sam Tompkins there at the time, but Sean Johnson was also a gun, and I had to change him from left footed because yeah he's left footed in this game for some reason. Bit weird, isn't it? But whatever. So yeah, ideas for rugby league live three. Well. Not, it's not necessarily an idea, but the first thing they have to address is, at this stage, there's a, it's very outdated, this game, in terms of rules. Um, so just to point out, my first up, shoulder charge. Shoulder charge is not there. I'm glad that it's on this game, because it's cool, but um, they should probably, like, they need new animations for that sort of stuff, because um, there's no shoulder charge, so they need to find, like the alternative to shoulder charge so maybe just like a big hit where they wrap the arm around as well or something like that still have maybe the same sort of like um way of doing it like you like it's still like a big hit just without the motion of being a shoulder charge because it's obviously illegal or maybe you get at the shoulder charge there and give away a penalty who knows um the penalty goal why not 
So that, that's the first thing. Um, another one is they should really fix up the video ref. I love how it was... It's a late inclusion, by the way, I think. Well, maybe not late inclusion. It was always there, but um, some little things were late inclusions from a patch and all that. So, like I said, like the offside one, it's from a patch. But all the times, it, like, it's a little bit glitchy. Like, it's the same animations, pretty much. Like, and they go up to um, video ref for pretty much anything. Like... If you just get touched while going into score, they go up and look at the video ref. Except for the one where they sort of hold up and then you reach out and put the ball down. That's the only one that um is a try. The rest, like, you just get tackled and fall into the ground like a normal tackle. Fall into the end goal. Video ref. Even though it's so obvious you've scored, like, it doesn't look like the ball slipped out or nothing. Just, they need to um, smooth out that sort of stuff. Um, what else with the video ref? Yeah, the offside. Offside was one that they brought in um, with a patch. Um, and I definitely need to fix that up because there's been times where I put in a kick from like the set before and I go in and score um, and they go back and look at the other team's kick or something like that. Things that don't make any sense. Um, also, a lot of times like the offside is like so blatant that they weren't offside and they just have like one quick look at it. Um, yeah, just make it more realistic. Oh, let me throw an intercept. But I... Overall, I do like the concept of the video ref. It is a lot. It is an improvement on the previous year, and I think that's what we should be looking for. Just making improvements from the, sorry, not year before, but the game before. Just keep making constant improvements on the game before. Um, so another one's also that they could bring in is something to do with like the corner, like when people going in for tries. I love for them to have something where you could do like an ac acrobatic finish. I'm not sure how you go about doing that, like. Not sure if you'd have to press a certain button or have to time something in the corner to get a put down right or or what. Oh, good stuff there, but on why to get to the ball. So maybe like when you're going into the corner, maybe a button could pop up and you got to press it at the right time or something. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I think I'd like to see some way you can do the like Jason Nightingale is a perfect example. Him and Brett Morris always the acrobatic finishes. Not for is another one. Like, they jump up, they don't just dive into the corner like a normal one. Like, that's the only thing you do in this game, just do like a normal, a normal dive. Um, I'd like to see them be able to, you know, go up and be like going like head first and put the ball down, that sort of stuff. I don't, maybe it's a problem animating it or something, who knows, but at least have a try. Um, another one is also crossfield bombs. And kicking in general, I mean, the long kicking is good. Bombs... Not great. Grubber's not great either. Um, obviously, there's different types of bombs, like there's torpedoes and all that sort of stuff. It's going to be hard to do in a game, so I understand that. But, at least ma make, don't make it so hard to do a bloody crossfield bomb. And, obviously, not like when you do crossfield bombs, they're not literally like a bomb, like a midfield bomb, which is the only one you can see to do on here. They're kind of like a punt, but a crossfield. And you can't really do that on him. <laughs> wow, who hit that? Mumbai just gets crunched every game. Yeah, get one back, Casiano. And Thompson gets smashed. It's been a pretty good game so far, this one. Go inside ball to Mumbai, who's bludgeoning at the back there. Probably from getting smashed. Um, yeah, so... What was I saying? Yeah, cross your bombs and just kicking. Uh, grabbers don't really work too well in this game either. I'll, sh I'll try and do one right here. Oh, this one's turned out right. A little bit too far dead. I like, see, like that knock on. That, as if that looks like a knock on. It just looked like it touched his leg. Um, so little things like that. It's just um, the game in general isn't too bad. Obviously, the biggest one is um, to fix up his intercepts. Hey, um, I'm not sure how to go about it. Pretty much, maybe just the hit detection sort of thing a little bit better, because there's been lo lots of times where, like, I, I can understand, there was a game before, I think the last game, where I was like, said, oh yeah, that's a, you know, set nine times out of ten, and I don't know why I threw it, those ones I'm okay with, it's the ones where you go up to the line and throw a good pass, and then all of a sudden, like, the other player, like, teleports in and just grabs it, and you kind of like, the WTF, what the hell, what's going on here? Also, another one, it seems like I'm just shitting on the game, but this is just going through things to get improved. The steps don't look very good. Now, 
there's pretty, as we know, that everybody's got their own sort of steps and styles. So, um, see, like that. Why was that? Why is that in a set? Come on, Ennis, get to him. Ennis is gonna get him. Well, he does get him. He's gonna give away a penalty, hopefully. No, we don't need to. Oh, we do give away a penalty. Good stuff, Thompson. Over side line. Oh, he didn't make it. Damn, so close. Good tackle, Lafayette. That was shit by me coming out with Ennis. I really want to put a hit on, but it's too risky to do it at this stage. I mean, I've got the two-point security if they do score anyways. Rex tackles Proctor. So we got three on four at that side. They didn't go that way. So you, you see that tackle there, if that ended up going into the end goal, they would have went to the video ref. would have been clear that he got it down too. Hawkinson couldn't take it. Um, yeah. Also, I think there should be a thing. See they're catching the bomb? The bomb catching should be a little bit different too. Like, height should play a difference. If I've got, uh, say, Jamal Idris under a ball, because he's a big dude, up against Corey Thompson, Jamal Idris should get to that ball 10 times out of 10. It's just whether he catches it or not. Um, it's just more animations probably, and I understand that it's probably they had limited disk space and all that sort of stuff from being on these systems. And also, I know that they're not, they don't have like countless amount of money like EA's stuff as well to put into development. So I understand that sort of stuff, but I think it needs this stuff needs to be in it um, to some degree. So let's this will go to Videra. This is a perfect example. So Videra, he had a little like there's no doubt that he get the ball, he got the ball down. I don't even need to look at that other replay. Pretty obvious. Well, so you're seeing there, it just says video referee. This is due to licensing. Um, it used to have something else there, I forget what it was, but obviously now KFC sponsors it and it's all different um, in the NRL. So they just go with the plain one, and I'm fine with that. That's all it is, it's just a licensing thing, but it's cool. They used to have the official one um, beforehand. And if I was savvy enough and was, um, if I put heaps of effort into these videos enough I could find probably find a thing on YouTube and just put it in there but I'm not sure how they go with copyright strike so I won't do it. I mean it's not something that'd be real hard but it's not something I particularly want to do. Also how often would it be used? Oh I thought that was gonna be pass there. Good tackle by Reynolds. Don't we can see it here. There we go. Oh, he's coming across Slater. Guess to him. Wow. I'm gonna go out to Reynolds. Oh, what the hell? What the hell is that? I wanted to pass a playmaker. Stuff like that. Those little glitches need to get fixed up. Nice little play there. Oh, I was hoping we could have just threw a dummy there. I just want to get a dummy, like throw, get a try that has a dummy in it, just because it looks cool. I remember playing with Barber, like they, like it fell for a dummy and looked like a step. But they're just some things that um, I could think of off the top of my head. I didn't really have a good think about it. Just um, this Jakey Bear guy followed me and um, messaged me on Twitter, and when I went to go check, and I was just in the process, I was about to make a video, and I thought, why not? Why not talk about it? Um, yeah. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, my handle is at Mr. Luke on YT, so on YouTube, because somebody already had the Twitter handle of Mr. Luke, so I had to go with something else. Um, also, thanks to Trobbycraft22 or Michael Rain. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware, like, it doesn't seem you use Twitter that much, but your Twitter's linked um, with the YouTube account, and it's cool to see um, like on the video constantly, um, so I like that. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and follow me on Twitter, and I don't have a Facebook account, so can't do that but yeah if you want to if you enjoyed it um, leave a like and subscribe to the channel and message me on um, Twitter and leave a comment and stuff I'll reply to you all the time all right see you guys well actually before I do that simulate the games here and we'll see if we play next week take on the roosters again all right now I can say see you all right bye